Hey, you guys. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I mean, God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to put this video in the description. It's a very good video. It's, it's packed full of biblical knowledge. But I'm going to play you this excerpt from here because I'll, this one verse in the Bible, um, the end of it, a lot of people could misconstrue and they probably have. And it's where God says, I create evil. So, Pastor Arnold Murray, in this video, took it back to the manuscripts. And he's going to explain to you what that means. So, just hold tight for about two minutes. And watch this. And you will have some much needed knowledge about the end of that particular verse. Always praying for everyone. I do Holy Communion every day. I pray for all souls. I even ask God. To change the hearts, minds, bodies, and souls of the wicked and turn them back to him and his kingdom. Jesus finished work on the cross and won holy baptism of the Holy Spirit of God in Jesus for the forgiveness of sins of all mankind. Take care. Easy for you, Cyrus. But you're going to do what I want you to do. Cyrus made it, he made a believer out of him, verse 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, will call thee by thy name, and the God of Israel. You're going to know that I'm in charge. You're going to know that I am who I say I am, Yahweh. Verse 4, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, this is why I'm doing it, I have even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me, and he didn't, but God did, why? well it was 137 years before the child was ever born, that means time doesn't mean all that much to our heavenly father, he has a plan, there's nothing new under the sun. It's going to pass, come to pass as he has stated. That's why you can always trust him. That's why you can always count on him. Just as sure as the prophecies concerning Cyrus, even his birth and his name and his kingship and his success came to pass, so are the prophecies concerning the end times. It is written... And it shall come to pass exactly as it's written, because when our Father speaks, so it is. Verse 5, to continue. I am the Lord, that's Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girdeth thee, that means I strengthened you, though thou has not knowing me, still the one that gives you that ability. Verse 6, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. You know, why did he name Cyrus that name? Well, what comes up from the east, the sun, what does Cyrus mean? The sun, okay? S-U-N, not S-O-N, okay? And uh, why did he name him that? Because he would come from there, and he would accomplish these things. The sun gives life. He was a type, a type of savior, if you would. I, I want you to know from this that God uses whomever he will wherever he will, and whenever he will. Why? Because he's our Father, and he is God. Verse 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. You, you would be at error if you were to take that as it is translated in the King James because the word evil should be calamity, woe, or, or distress, not evil. God doesn't create evil. Man does, and Satan does, but not our Father. Okay. Uh, he does.
does bring that he can bring calamity and he can bring it to pass for correction. Verse 8. Drop down. Have a God blessed day. Don't forget to pray.